today we are going to make fried apples. It is uh, fall in Virginia, so apples are in abundance. I just got two bushels of mixed apples. They're mostly Fuji, which are very sweet, so we don't have to add as much sugar to those. So I've got my cast iron here, and I warmed up about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my apples. Um, they need to be cored, and most people like to peel them uh, to make the fried apples. I happen to have a uh, Pampered Chef apple core slice peeler, and that works very well for getting this job done and getting the apples ready. It kind of puts them in a spiral, um, which isn't necessary. You can certainly just peel them with an apple, with a, just a regular vegetable peeler. Um, that will work as well. I've got my heat on about medium. Getting those apples in there. I'm going to add about one third cup of brown sugar. I like to add brown sugar. Some people like to add white sugar. That's fine as well. Um, this is gonna make them more of a dessert. You don't have to use as much sugar and then you can use, uh, it'd be more of something to eat with your meal. Um, you can hear the apples starting to sizzle. You're just gonna keep on stirring that. If it starts to look a little dry, you can always add a little bit more butter or you can do a sprinkle of water as well. That sugar's gonna start to dissolve. And then I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon. Sprinkle that on as well and stir it up. You wanna get them all coated pretty evenly. This used to be a staple growing up. My grandfather used to make these all the time. They don't seem to be as popular anymore um, as they used to be, and I'm not sure why, because they are super easy. And if you don't add as much sugar, they're fairly healthy as well. You're gonna keep stirring this and let it cook for about seven or eight minutes until your apples are very tender. Uh, if you poke them with a fork, you should not be able to pick them up with the fork, and that's how you know they're done. Um, we usually will eat these for dinner, and if there's any leftover, have them in the morning for breakfast. I hope you enjoy your apples.